Oh, we've seen an upturn in form, which is quite nice. Got a big, big FA Cup game today. Get into it. Hello guys, David here and welcome back to episode number 26 of Hometown Hero. In this episode we've got a big FA Cup first round tie at home to Cambridge United and then we've got a home tie in the FA Trophy against Stocksbridge Steel, I think they're called. I've never heard of them before in my life, which probably means we're going to lose. I'm not going to lie to you. Since you were last with us, as you can see, we have shot right up the table. So in the last episode we had two games, didn't lose either of them. And they were against, who were they against again? Oh yeah, it was Halifax, it was against Barnet. So we got the win against Halifax, and then we got the draw against Barnet. We followed that up with a nice big 4-2 victory against Geasley. Uh, a win in the FA Cup against Cray Wanderers, who won that one 4-0. A bit of a disappointing draw to Stockport, because we were 3-1 up, but they're a good team, so we'll take the draw no matter what. Um, and then a 1-0 win against, he against Hednesford in the FA Trophy and a really harsh, hardly ground out 1-0 victory against Barrow in the Vanarama National, which included an absolute stormer of a goal by Antonio Diaz. I'll see if I can show you it quickly. Uh, watch the goals, here we go. Check this out for a perler. He hits this like a good un. So we'll just let that load through, but check this. Is this gonna show us the goal? I think it is. Yeah, he picks it up, past his man, and then bosh. Look at that for us for a belter of a finish and that was it he scored that and then we won the game but we it, we were hard pushed so we defended really well as you can see a couple of really good ratings from the back five there which is what you like to see other bit of news to tell you about we have had one new person come in i think it's just one yes it is this guy i can't believe we managed to get this chap in pascal juan estrada has come in as a center midfielder for us but he can play in the defensive midfield position as well, which is a good option because I might consider tweaking the tactic a little bit potentially going forwards. But look, he's so good. First touch, brilliant. Marking's good. Passing's good. Tackling's brilliant. Positioning, brilliant. Decision's brilliant. Natural fitness, fantastic. He's such a good player. Got him in from Wolves on a free transfer. He actually came in and said he's not going to get a work permit. And then he threw up a hissy fit and said, oh, I don't want to join. So I just went and had a chat with him and said, look, We'll exhaust every possible option until you can't get a work permit and then you can leave. At which point you went, cool, we can work with that. Next thing I know, he's got settled status, which apparently means he can play in all the league games and the cup games as well. So I don't really know what's happening. I'm conscious that it's the 16th of December, so we may get to January and that might just go and completely can itself. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, big game in the first game today. And it is, as I mentioned at home to Cambridge United. We're looking, I think we've got about 3,500 at the stadium today, so it's going to be a real nice money maker. Hopefully we can get through as well. That'd be really nice. Um, however, not in, <laughs> not massively confident, I've got to be honest. Um, but the team we're going to be putting out to play in this game is going to be Lee Morton in goal, who's slowly becoming our first choice goalkeeper, to be honest. Not been playing too badly at all. Uh, Icethorpe, Janieva, Littlewood and Helliwell is going to be the back four. Diaz, Estrada, Purrington and Thistleton are the midfield four. And then a combination of Tommy, Co Tommy Conway. You're joking. Have I actually somehow managed to pick up two, the two Tommies up top? Well, that's, that's going to be a mouthful, isn't it? The two Tommies are up top as normal. Uh, Bench-wise, yeah, a couple of new play couple of players on there that you'll recognise. It's fairly standard, to be honest. Um, Warren Bentley, you'll be amazed to know, is still managing to score goals when he plays. He's just not playing much anymore. Because, unfortunately for that, he's getting a little bit old. He's getting on. He's putting a bit more focus into his coaching career, which I can understand. Um, so, yeah, he's still playing, but not as much as he would normally do. It depends on the game. He'll probably play in the next game against Stocksbridge, to be honest, so you can get a chance to see him in action. And by the looks of it, Cambridge United have stolen our kit. We we went for the orange one and they've nicked it off of us. I'll get over it. But anyway, FA Cup first round proper. We didn't get this far last year, of course. And it's been a while since you've seen a, cup, a couple of cup games. So I thought, yeah, we'll do a cup double. We've had a fairly favourable draw in the FA Trophy so far. We've not played anyone really of... Uh, to be honest, any significant clout. So we've got a chance of going maybe a little bit deeper into the competition, which would be nice. It'd be nice to have a chance in that one, but Cambridge United are in early. Good save by Lee Morton there. Like I say, he's been playing well. 
he's been he's been doing bits in the in the middle of the goalposts so far this season, which I've been quite impressed about. Apart from that, I think it was the first game of the season. He didn't really play very well, did he? I think it was the first game. It was definitely a game I did on camera. I've recorded a hell of a lot of games games on this recently, so I'm a little bit out of touch of what's been going on. Of course, big big t big link here. If you do like the look of Lee Morton, remember he is a newly generated player. And if you want to support the Stars Appeal charity, which of course is a fantastic charity supporting children in Salisbury District Hospital, and you want to get yourself into this save, he is your prime target. I'm telling you that now. If you go to the Just Giving link in the description of my videos and click on that and donate at least five pounds, he's all yours. You just let me know. First come, first serve though. Remember that. But anyway, this one's been played in here. Got a chance and it's a good goal. Come on. We've had absolutely nothing in this first half. And Dylan Thistleton has come up trumped. Diaz picks it up. Was it Diaz who played the pass in? I think it was. Running through the channels. Lovely ball through. Thistleton's first to it. Beats the keeper to it. And get in. Come on. We've been absolutely nowhere in this first half. But we have come out in front of a fairly packed out Silver Lake Stadium. And we are 1-0 to the good. Of course, if, again, if I'm recording this and this has already been confirmed, I apologise. But, ah, oh, penalty. But we are still looking for names for the Salisbury Stadium for next year. Um, I do want you guys to let me know in the comments what you think the team, what you think the new stadium should be called. Um, within reason, of course. If you want it to be the Ray Mac version 2, that's fine. We can call it that. It's all down to you guys. I want as many options as possible. And then we'll throw out a vote to see which one's going to win. But unfortunately, got the goal just before half time and we've come crashing back down with a penalty conceded just inside the second half, which is disappointing but unsurprising. The the scoreline, by the way, not the penalty. I'm not I'm not unsurprised we've given away a penalty. I'm just not surprised we're drawing against a very decent Cambridge United side who are sitting pretty nicely in League One at the moment, and that is really disappointing, and we've been done over by one of the cast of Snoopy. Because Charlie Brown has put Cambridge United at 2-1 ahead. I will go and check in a minute to see exactly where they are in the league. Um, I'm not sure what Isthorpe does here. It's arguably one of the worst touches I think I've ever seen in any form of football. Semi-professional, amateur or professional. I'm pretty sure that's not the right order. Estrada's not having a good game, which is annoying. So we'll bring on Wayne Chadwick, who was playing all right up until this point, up until he came in. Um, I don't have my replacement left back of... Price on the bench, which is a bit annoying. We will bring on Adeloy in place of Tommy Wright as well. So now we've got Tommy and Tommy. Jeez, what have I been doing? What have I been picking these players based on? Names are ridiculous. Anyway, Cambridge going up forward again. Chab, lovely tackle that. Gets it back to Thistleton. Tommy Adeloy is running forwards. Ah, oh, not the best pass in the world. You can tell he's a centre forward. Not the best pass you will ever see. And that's a chance. Oh, 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 oh that's close. We'll demand more. Um, oh, I think we must have done that recently. We'll demand more again. Uh, we're going to bring off Diaz as well. I think we've got Davies on the bench. Did I see? No, we don't. Why have I got no left-sided players on the bench? What have I been doing? Right, Cameron James can come on. Littlewood can come off. Again, I've got no one there. Right, um, Sam Paul. And then we'll switch Heliwell into the centre. This has been a fairly... Standard change recently for us, to be fair. Yeah, that's all of our substitutes done. Big clear. Oh, I thought that was going to be a big clearance that Tommy Conway was going to get on the end of, but it wasn't. Come on, I want fire. No, I clip focus. No. Come on, I stop. Big throw. Heliwell picks it up on the edge. Cambridge on the break now. This could be curtains. It could be curtains in our FA Cup to run. It's not yet. Morton's managed to be equal to it, and he's had a good game, to be fair. I mean, look at, well, of course he has. Look at the amount of shots they've had. And they're only 2-0 up. And it looks like it's going to be over at the first camera hurdle. And that is disappointing. Don't get me wrong. We had one shot on target and we scored from it. That's good. It's unlucky for the lads. Um, but yeah, our FA Cup run is pretty much over before it even started. But if we look at the finances, we've made about 30 odd K, which is nice. Yeah, we've received six and a half K nearly for the uh, for the run. And we've got 52 K in the quaffers from gate receipts as well. So we're building up a little bit in terms of the club vision. If you bring that to your attention quickly now, we are struggling with the wage budget because we're paying a little bit over the odds. I am trying to shift some players on to try and sort that. Um, but we're on course to repair the club's financial damage, which is great. 
um, which is nice indeed. However, if I show you this really handy projection screen, it's not looking particularly good. We're starting to spend a bit more on wages now, which means that we're then starting to obviously spend more money generally. Um, so we do need to try and sort that a little bit. But anyway, enough about that. Let's move on to the FA Trophy and let's take on relative unknown side, Stockbridge Steels. Alrighty then, folks, Stockbridge Steels are welcomed to the Silver Lake in this FA Trophy clash. Few changes across the board for this game. Um, we've got Lee Morton in goal still. Back four is now Price in DT, Bradley Green in Genesini. So a couple of changes on that side of things. Davies, Chadwick, James and Wiltshire in the midfield. I'm pretty sure. Is that fully changed? I want to say it is. My memory's terrible. I'm 99% sure that's fully changed. Chadwick definitely in for Estrada. Davies 99% sure in for Diaz. Definitely um, Wiltshire in for Thistleton because I know he scored. Um, just James is the one I'm not sure about. And then we've got Lewis Lloyd and Warren Bentley up top. Lewis Lloyd hasn't played for us yet, so it'd be good to get him a chance to have a bit of a run out, see what he's all about. And Warren Bentley, because Warren Bentley. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So yeah, every person, yeah, there you go, 10 changes. So everyone's been changed except for Lee Morton in goal. Because again, like I say, he's been playing well. So I can't say any fairer than that. I've no idea what um I've no idea anything about Stockbridge Steels. Stockbridge Steels. Can I click on them quickly? Can we go and see them? Can I go and check them? I suppose I've got to go for a player and he's gonna score now, isn't he? Uh they are in the pitching in Northern Premier Division 1 South East. That's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Keep Reese Fielding is their key player. We know absolutely nothing about him. He doesn't look the worst player in the world, to be fair. Anyway, I've digressed. Let's get back into the game. Because I've clicked on too many players now, and now one of them is going to score. They've also got a lad called Jordan Lemon. Oh, that makes me chuckle. So we're out of the, we're out of the FA Cup, which, like I say, it doesn't come as a huge shock. We were up against a good, a good side in Cambridge. And Wiltshire with an early chance. Oh, tipped away by the goalkeeper. Oh, that was a good effort. Damn. Nearly got one in to start things off on the front foot. But... Yeah, I think I think we've got a decent chance of getting a good fist of the um of the FA trophy this year. If we can do it, Lloyd plays in Bentley, lovely chance, and he you know he's not gonna miss from there. He only misses from there when I'm watching him on my own and there's no cameras around. I had to add the cameras bit around at the end there because I wasn't gonna sound really suspect. But this is lovely. James nods it on, Lloyd picks it down, brilliant way to pass through, and Bentley's not yeah. When he's on camera, he plays up to him, he's not missing from there. <laughs> and that much is confirmed. Excuse my cough. And there you go, one nil up, which is what you like to see. We've offered them one shot. It's not even been on target. We are dominating proceedings thus far. Who else is playing in the FA Trophy today? I can't see because it's gone away too quickly. Looks like we've got a pretty decent crowd as well, which is quite nice. I would have thought that barely anyone would have turned up, to be honest. <clears throat> and again, I, re I think that's a really big difficulty for this save at the moment because we're in a different stadium I, I, I have no idea if football manager worries about this but I feel like we're not getting the crowds we would because of where the stadium is obviously the fact of being in Eastleigh not in Salisbury I don't know if that makes a difference but I feel like we got promoted two years in a row you'd expect to see bigger crowds in the Vanarama National like there is lots of Salisbury fans kicking around if they got into the higher leagues which I'm sure they will I've no doubt they will if the season gets resumed I'm confident they'll get promoted I've just got a feeling it looks like a good side this year. But, um, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. I don't know. Uh, who are we going to bring on? We'll bring on Purrington instead of um, James there on the in the centre of the midfield. I was going to bring on Estrada, but I just don't want to... I don't want to rush him in. I think he's still getting, the, getting to grips with things. He didn't play a single game for Wolves, understandably, because he's now at our level. But, um, yeah, I don't want to rush him in too much. And I think we may have done that. I may have been... Suspect to looking a little bit too much at the star ratings and Lewis Lloyd. I mean, that's a nice little partnership, that isn't it? That is lovely, lovely stuff. Bentley pings it back across. So it's Purrington over to Genesini, who pings a ball forward, finds Warren Bentley, who's got acres of space to pass it across to Lloyd. It's probably not the best pass you'll ever see, but the finish is nice and we'll, we'll, we'll take that all day long. But yeah, as I was saying, I don't know what I was saying, I've forgotten, but. It's not looking too bad at the moment. Davies having a really good game. It's, bit, it's really annoying that Davies is playing really well because I want to play Diaz more. But every time I put Reese Davies in, he plays really well. I'll make one more change. 
We'll bring off Chadwick. We'll bring on Estrada just to give him a little bit more game time, see how he fares. Uh, yep, he's playing in his preferred role. Just make sure that's the case. But yeah, it's all looking rather good at the moment. Got to be honest. And that's a nice, comfortable win. <clears throat> I'd have liked to have seen more goals, obviously. But, and I'm sure you guys will have done as well. But... We're through to the next round, and that's all that matters. Do we know who we're going to play next? Doesn't look like it. We win in the third round. I assume the fourth round gets drawn at some point soon. Yeah, it doesn't get drawn until Christmas Eve. So we'll find out who our um, fate will be against next time round. He reckons that Stocksbridge won the league, won the uh, the FA Trophy. That's a bug for manager. Sort that out, lads, if you're watching. <clears throat> so we'll come back at some point. We'll probably come back for the FA Trophy fourth round if it's a big side. If it's not... Then we'll come back at some other point. Maybe we'll go up against Boreham Wood and have it at Waterlooville. One team that's battling towards the bottom of the table. One newly promoted side who we've never seen before. Maybe we'll do something like that. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. A win and a loss. Uh, we won the game we should have done. We lost the game we probably should have lost. That kind of adds up in the end, doesn't it? If you enjoyed the video, please smash the thumbs up button. I'd be very much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to here and you want to see some more content. And as always, let me know your thoughts in the comments. But that's going to be it from me, guys. My name's been David. Catch you guys next time. Cheers.